Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Better Box Studios for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Here's Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, I'm right here, everybody. Exciting stuff. Glad to be back. We are live streaming around the world using our friends over at YouTube. And uh, exciting to be here. Red Band, how are you? Great. How are you, man? I'm great. Yeah. It's good to see you once a week. Good to see you once a week, too. That uh, <laughs> that every night stuff was getting pretty... Pretty bad. Yeah. I, I, I resetted my uh, sleep schedule this week. I'm now waking up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. How many mornings have you woken up at 6 a.m.? Three or four. Three. Wow. Yeah. It sucks. That's it incredible. Really sucks. Why does it suck? Because it's like nothing's open times two like uh -huh. nothing's open already have you ever thought about buying yourself a nice espresso machine and I, making I have, your own drinks I, I do i have that so yeah. what do you what do you need open well just anything to do like you, you wake up at 6 a.m and it's like what what, do, what am i doing but what away? do you know what would what do you do normally at i would probably go to like starbucks probably go to the store what store like best buy or you go some to kind best of nerd buy. shit or you know just do something like go out of the house and go somewhere but like 6 a.m., it's right right now. 6 a.m. is even worse. It's crazy. Well, that's good. It's it's good. That's healthy for you. What yeah. time are you going to bed? Like 11. Wow, <laughs> it that's sucks. great. It sucks. No, that's great. You're finally sleeping like a man your age. I know. Less drinking too. That's great. Yeah. That's essential for you. Yeah. Absolutely essential. <laughs> how about how about food? What kind of food have you been? Well, you know, I've been ordering a lot of Postmates. Lately. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's the best stuff in the world. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I had some Vito's Pizza today from our good friend Charlie here. Absolutely delicious. He made us an incredible baked potato pizza. Um, and I had uh, I actually had Postmates for lunch. I had Me too. delicious, delicious uh, Postmates. What was it? Oh, it was uh, tacos today. Yeah. I had delicious carne asada burritos. So you can only get here in California the best Mexican food other than Mexico, perhaps. Um, if you're like me, you probably start thinking about what to eat for dinner while you're eating lunch. That's what I do. I love food, and that's why I love using Postmates. But I kind of love them for even more than that right now because I can get food delivered without leaving the house or even opening the door. Given what's going on in the world, they created non-contact deliveries. So now when I order from local restaurants, everything gets left right outside my door. Oh, it's great. They have a little mat that they put down. They put your food right there. They have Postmates Pickup also, which I've been using to order takeout from my favorite local re restaurants. And that's important. You're like, listen up. Like, you guys need to be supporting your neighborhood spots right now. I've only been ordering local because it's a great way to support my community. The, the place near me, Talleyrand, they even had uh, to go uh, Bloody Mary's the other day i and so i ordered some bloody mary's and a nice breakfast and postmates doesn't just deliver burgers and sushis sushis that's yeah. how you that's plural yep. they they actually make my life easier by picking up everything i need from walgreens and 7-eleven and dropping it outside my door just download postmates on ios or android find your favorites and get anything you want delivered in an hour and for a limited time postmates is giving our listeners 100 dollars of free delivery credit for the first seven days $100 to start your deliveries download the app and use the code kill tony all one word that's code Kill Tony for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Yeah. And after you eat all that Postmates, guess what you got to do? Go poopy, <laughs> Make a poopy out of your butt butt. There's a toilet paper shortage. Everyone has an ass. Everyone deserves the gift of tushy. Wiping your butt with dry toilet paper does not remove all the shit. If you got poop on any other part of your body, would you wipe it off with dry paper? Hell no. Water cleans better than dry paper, my friends. Thankfully, there's now a sleek bidet attachment that clips onto your existing toilet and sprays your butt completely clean with fresh water. It's called Tushy, and it's the best thing you could do for your butt. Tushy sprays directly to your ass and removes the poop completely, so you aren't sitting on bacteria that leads to nasty things like hemorrhoids, yeast infections, UTIs, itchy assholes, and skid marks. <laughs> you saying skid marks makes me happy, and bidets make me happy because they're common in the rest of the world. You know, when I went to Japan, every place in the, had them, like public restrooms. A bidet saves you money on toilet paper. You still use a little toilet paper to pat dry, but that amount is you know, just so small. It's like one little square. Yep. It won't clog your toilets. Tushy sprays your ass with fresh water. It's not toilet water. 
Tushy connects to the water supply right behind your toilet to spray your dirty parts clean with fresh water. It's the same water you brush your teeth with. Wet wipes are worse than toilet paper. They're terrible for the environment. They, called, they cause anal fissures. You don't want a, your anus fissuring, Tony. You definitely don't. And it's only $79, which is insane. That's crazy. It does not need to cost a zillion dollars to upgrade your bathroom and deserve Instagrammable luxury. Tushy only costs $79, and it changes your life. I know it changed mine. My bathroom is a modern-day self-care oasis. Go to hellotushy.com slash killtony. Get 10% off your order one more time. That's hellotushy.com slash killtony and get 10% off your order. So excited to be back here. So excited. You know, these episodes, while completely different than being home at the comedy store in front of a sold-out room of 500 people, you know, some of my favorite comedians uh, being guests, sitting in the back, sneaking in, sneaking on the show, coming on with their balls out or their butt out. You know, Ron White walking in with a bottle of tequila. These shows here at Better Box Studios are a little bit different. These are the survival episodes. We're so grateful for the people over at Better Box that have opened their doors to us. Of course, I'm talking about the great Gino over Woo-hoo. at Speedweed who uh, makes this all possible. He's always at every episode of Kill Tony. He's been a loyal soldier of not just Kill Tony, but stand-up comedy, roast battle, all the coolest shows. He's got the best taste in comedy. He's like uh, he's like the Spike Lee of the New York Knicks, but for the comedy store, and they're amazing uh, comedians. And that's why we support him as well. If you're into candles, I know I am. I lit one last night. I got fucking romantic last night. I I had a bottle of wine, lit a candle, watched the last dance. It doesn't take much to keep me happy. Just my iPad, my laptop, my phone, uh, my projector, my PlayStation 5. All it, all the, five? You got long, the 5 yeah, already? Yeah, as long as I have all those things <laughs> going at once, I'm completely entertained. Who says I'm ADD? All it takes are those things. Anyway, go buy a candle right now at damngoodco.com. That's Damn Good Candle Company. But get the website, damngoodco, that's C-O, dot com. And uh, tag the picture of your candle when you get it. Tag the Kill Tony Instagram account, and they will repost it on the stories over there on the Kill Tony uh, Instagram. We got live dates coming up, supposedly. Perhaps this is true. If things get back running again, some cities are opening up. I believe some of these dates will definitely happen. Salt Lake City, Miami, Austin, Texas, San Francisco, Bakersfield, Tacoma, Washington, D.C., and other ones. They're all being announced. They're all being signed and done as the days go on. Everything's being added. And, uh, yeah, as for this show, if you've submitted before, we've been getting a lot of questions on social media, the cast has been, about how to submit or do you need to resubmit. The answer is yes, resubmit, ladies and gentlemen. Our producers can only watch so many videos per week. And uh, as of right now, we're not doing any repeats other than the regulars that are on the show. So resubmit, killtonyquarantine at gmail.com. If you've submitted a video before, submit one more time, submit Before Mondays, keep it there. Make sure your video is watchable. One minute. To a minute. Yep. Keep it all there. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's do it, right? Am I missing anything? No. Ryan J. Ebelt's drawing tonight's episode. He draws every single episode of the show. Prints are available at ryanjebelt.com. That's for every road poster. The brand new Kill Tony t-shirt that's a poster on a t-shirt. And uh, a bunch of other fun things. RyanJEbelt.com. He's the house artist. He draws every episode, including Kill Tony the Book. So why not do that? Uh, We have a band on the show. Let's get them out here. Every single episode, they commit to being different characters. We never know what they're going to be. They've been getting ready in another room. And so let's all find out what they are this week together. Fun fact, they didn't give me a song this week. They forgot. Whoa. So I'm just going to guess. Oh, well, here, I have no idea. <laughs> here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins, Joelberg, Joel Jimenez, and Jet Ski, Jesse Johnson. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Heroes. Actual heroes, everyone. How exciting. We have first responders here. Human organ for transplant lunchbox. There you go. There's an extra hat. There you go. Absolutely. Hello, first responders. How are you? Hey, how, how are you, Tony? Good. What's your name? My name's Hal Boyd. What is it? Hal Boyd. Hal Boyd. 
Okay. Hi, Hal. How have things been going for you with this corona pandemic? Uh, pretty rough. Yeah, what's been happening? Um, uh, an old lady with uh, coronavirus farted in my mouth the other day. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit of a speech impediment? You have a speech impediment. <laughs> I actually, I don't think I do. Okie dokie. Uh, next to you, you have a beautiful young lady. What's your name? Hi, my name's Beth, and sorry, I'm married to my job. Hey. Oh, <laughs> married to your job. She's taken. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an emergency medical technician? Yes, sir. What exactly do you do? Uh, anything a paramedic like doesn't want to do. We're oh. kind of like clean up the mess and send them the real forces. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, clearly back here we have what appears... Wow, oh, that's not annoying at all. Uh, clearly back here we have what appears to be a uh, a bronze uh, trophy of some kind that has come to life. What's your name? <laughs> the name's uh, Jim, uh, bronze trophy. Wait, can you repeat the, exactly what you just <laughs> you, said one more time? Jim, Jim, sorry, you, I had a bit of, I, do you, I, I ride around in the ambulance with this guy all day. It's hard to not pick so, up his sometimes speech he, Sometimes he listens to me, he, speaks, uh, he uh, picks up on my speech patterns. And it's hard, he's it's hard. He's always talking to me like, and, like, in my voice, and I'm like, are you mocking me? And then he's like, no, it's the whole thing. Nothing yeah. better than, than, for the first, than for the few first responders that probably love this show and are listening live right now to... To be represented for the first time as people that can't speak clearly for some reason. It's a very common problem. Really? Yeah, it's a very common problem. Amongst first responders? I mean, you don't have to mock us whenever you say it like that. No good. All right. Well, it's, we got Hal. I, let's hope you don't need any help tonight, Tony. I, I certainly hope not. It looks like you gave mouth to mouth to a chocolate bar earlier. <laughs> he was going to die if I didn't do it. All right, so we have Hal, we have Beth, and we have Jim. Jim, huh? That's what you came up with, Jim? Slim Jim, that's what they call me. All right. Exciting stuff. First responders, no better time to have real heroes on this show than now during this pandemic in which they're doing so much for people. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Comedians send in, well, uh, people send in 60 seconds of what they believe to be stand-up comedy-like <laughs> material. And, uh, wow, what's going on? What did I miss? You corrected yourself. Yeah, because it's, it's not really, it's hard to c convince them. When you see their closets and laundry in the background, it's hard to pretend like people are just comedians. Um, but some of them have done comedy, some of them haven't, and uh, we sort of just get an idea of who they are. We don't even really talk about their jokes, we don't really talk about their performance, we sort of just graze over who they are as human beings and uh, try to find out more interesting stuff about them. That's a weird summary of this show. This, these episodes, yes. If I was talking about the obviously the live show in front of a live audience where it's all about stand-up comedy, yeah, that'd be different. Cool. Indeed. You have a pretty smile. <laughs> Has anybody ever told you that? Thank you, Hal. We keep it tight here. Has anybody ever told you that? Uh, I don't know. Only his cellmate. So let's just jump right into the show. Uh, let's do it. The first comedian uh, doing uh, that sent in a set tonight goes by the name of Blind Andy. Well, let's let's here we go. It's Blind Andy. <laughs> Here's Blind like Andy. Most comedy, I may have had a fucked up childhood. You know, I witnessed my parents' divorce as my dad would have made it to his fifth marriage, but he did not live that fourth bitch. And my mom, well, she's on her third, but she got lucky because the guy she's with, it turns out he's got bad hips and knees and he can't fucking get away. Um, I may have some daddy issues. And the times I used to go see him, I wish he would ask me quality questions like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Or how does that make you feel? Nope, I got shit like, when's your birthday? And how old are you again? And when I was little, I thought, oh, he must care. And then when I got older, I realized he was just trying to figure out how much longer he had to deal with my fucked up mom. Well, there you go, Blind Andy. Here we go. Girl is on fire. That's because you guys. Oh no! Are somebody better help. Responders. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's a, that's so sweet. Hi, Blind. Yeah, Hi, Blind Andy. How you doing, Tony? 
Oh, we can't quite hear blind no, Andy. He's mute too. Maybe I'm maybe he's <laughs> deaf. <laughs> deaf and blind. Right. Okay. Hi Andy, yeah. how are you? I'm good. How are you, Tony? Good, good. Thanks for sending in your set. Is that stuff all true? What you said about your own mother? Oh, for sure. Wow. Interesting stuff. Do you, you guys you guys get along well with each other? No. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, kind of broken. broken. Yeah. Has anybody ever told you that you your voice sounds like it could be found in Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville? <laughs> no. Wow, Hal shooting from three-point range what to get the, the show started uh, <laughs> before really establishing contact with the guest. Uh, I'm a first responder. <laughs> They're first. Big it's just the, the scene of the emergency. Okay. <laughs> I am sensing Tony's stress levels rising. Uh-oh. It's okay. He, he doesn't have a pulse. He's a vampire. <laughs> okay. Very good, guys. Get it all out of your system. You have any more? <laughs> yeah, hi. We got a call from uh, somebody uh, suffering from delusions of grandeur. Just play the drums, bitch. There you go. <laughs> There's my mother stepping uh, in. The great joy. We have to bring her into this. Stepping in. Blind Andy, I don't know if you know this, but your thermostat, thermostat is set to 77 degrees. Seven, seven. It is. That is a hot room you're the... staying in. Unfortunately, yes. Where are you uh, located right now? Uh, we currently live in South Carolina. South Carolina. Where, where have you lived before that? Uh, we actually moved from California to move here. So, Why'd yay. you do that? Uh, my wife's work brought us out here, so we moved where the money was, right? Uh, <laughs> what, is your, uh, what does your wife do for work? Uh, she Distribution. She works for a pharmacy company. Oh, okay. How about you? What do you do for work? I, I don't work. I'm... I can't see. <laughs> how blind are you? Your name is Blind Andy. Let's talk about how blind you are. Uh, yeah, is it just well, like a rapper name? or? No, I can't rap. Sorry. I'm legally blind. So I'm close enough that the government said, ah, you're close enough. Wow. So, uh, like, what? Uh, how, what, what does that stop you from doing? Can you drive? Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't driven. No. <laughs> Not, it wouldn't you drive be safe. your wife crazy. I haven't driven in a lot of years. <laughs> Woo! Bring it yeah, to in a long time. Guys, we really need to tighten it up. There's no live audience. We just need to, need to home runs only here today. Home runs only <laughs> here today. I thought that was one. It's like starting now. Foul ball. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, all right, blind Andy. Interesting stuff. Have you ever done stand-up comedy before? No, always wanted to. Just kind of raising a family, kind of stopped it, and uh, something I wanted to pursue later. So how big is your try. family? Oh, love... uh, we have four kids. Wow. wow, four kids. You could see the pussy at least. <laughs> God. <laughs> Oldest is twenty-three. Youngest is sixteen. Wow. <laughs> Youngest is 16? Home runs only. Yeah. Okay. Right, guys. 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 Seriously. So have you been blind your whole life, or is this something that, that came later? Uh, uh, no, I was diagnosed when I was seven. I have something called retinitis pigmentosa, and they told me that by the time I was 21, I'd be completely blind, but I'm still not. So I guess wow. I'm beating it. Look at that. Is your wife ugly? No. She's no. beautiful? How do you know that? Well, we got four kids. No, but I mean, I know you can ejaculate, but you're blind. So how do you know you're not just uh, finishing inside of like a two? <laughs> I'm just humping the fucking bedpost or something. <laughs> <laughs> They're not kids. <laughs> it's just poop or something. Yeah. Just throw pellets, she puts up names. Yeah. I love it. How old's your oldest kid again? 23. How old are you? I'm 47. 47. Wow. Man, wow. started early, yeah. huh? Yeah. Had to knock it out. Unfortunately, that kind of stopped going to do the club thing, but yeah, I, I, I love my kids. Of course, indeed. Uh, what, what are they up to? What are there any, you have any special... Uh, your kids have any special skills or talents or anything like that? I got one that's serving. Serving at like a restaurant? 
No, that's one of them. The other one's actually in the Air Force. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's really proud of his son for serving food yeah. at a restaurant, he's at a Perkins. I love that. Yeah. He's in the Air Force. What does yeah. he do in the Air Force? Uh, he calibrates tools. Oh, awesome. That is so cool. I love that. Has he served uh, overseas or anything like that? No, no. He's in uh, New Mexico, so he's been pretty fortunate that way. Heck, yeah. The Iraq of America, New Mexico. So fun. I'm telling you, it's rough. Hell yeah. How about you? Do you have any special skills or talents? Can you like pop your eyeballs out and juggle them or something <laughs> like that? Uh, no, no glass eyes. Sorry. Yeah. You don't have the foggy eyes that you usually see in like uh, somebody that can't, you know, that's blind. You're lucky. No, you have, like not, I'm demon not, eyes. I'm not 100% blind. I can see like 10 feet. Then after that, it's all a blur. And I don't have any peripheral vision. Oh. Oh, it's great for the coronavirus, and you could see someone six feet away from you. Not when you're walking through a Walmart and the assholes breathe heavy on you. That was rough. Exactly. That's what yeah, I was thinking. Did they do that to you? Do I need to come on the scene? Yeah, absolutely. It just happened like a couple weeks ago. I won't go back in that shithole. What, yeah. What's the name of the city in South Carolina that you're in? We live in Chesney. Uh huh. Is that how far is that from a major city? That was really far. Uh, the the biggest city near us is Greenville or Spartanburg. Wow. Yeah, I haven't heard of either of those. It's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. Do either of those places have canoeing? Yes. So you're out there in the I'm, middle I'm sure, of nowhere. But... Is, is is you see a lot of uh, you see any racism ever? Out there, or do you just turn a blind well, eye to it? You can't see. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, you, are people racist out there in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina? Uh, we're in the South. You know, there's going to be some somewhere out here. What's the most racist thing you've ever seen? Or not seen? Like, heard of? <laughs> <laughs> heard or felt. You can't say not see. Uh, yeah, just the typical things. I mean, people not wanting to be around certain ethnicities or whatever right but you don't see color i don't actually correct That's when you took that pause i thought you were going to insert a racial slur right there and then just go for it but you didn't and i appreciate that Hell no yeah. <laughs> blind andy fun <laughs> stuff man so uh when's the last time you talked with your mom Shoot, it's been a long time. It's funny because when we moved over here, we actually moved her six miles away and we still don't talk. Wow. Oh, no. My yeah. goodness. Six miles away. Yeah, we actually, part of the reason we moved was to help them out. And then it, it kind of, after we got them moved, it kind of went downhill. So, yeah. What do you do? Right. Absolutely. What do you do? Well, you're a real American blind Andy, and uh, we thank you for uh, submitting. We thank you for your hey, performance. You. Fun stuff. And uh, next time we're out in the South, make a trip. Come see a show live. Absolutely. I appreciate it, We'll get you in the guys. front row. Yeah. Blind All Andy, right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Blind Andy. He's on Instagram at Blind Funny. That's Blind Andy show started don't you have a tinier saxophone you have like three sizes smaller than that but meanwhile you waited until we were in one <laughs> small room to bust out the most massive instrument every week would you prefer a smaller one yes but the problem with the smaller one it's higher pitched yeah so it's like so um that's great you just make <laughs> annoying noises to tell people what it sounds exactly like exactly what it sounds like yeah <laughs> You Thank you. And you might as well just replace it. It's like pterodactyl. -like. Anyway, we have another submission. Let's just jump right into it. The next person's name is Ruben Aitken Till. Here we go. Ruben. Here's oh my God. Here we go. Ruben Aitken Till, everyone. Here it is. One rolling. 2020, the year so good they named it twice. It even came with its own international holiday, social distancing. Who remembers Who Easter? Remembers Nobody. Nobody remembers Easter. I'm still working. I deliver food. There's never been a better time to be a delivery boy. I have more hero status than the police at the moment. There's no tips though due to social distancing. People don't seem to want you lingering in their doorway wearing gloves and mask. 
I am six foot five and I do appear to be one blunt instrument away from a home invasion. <laughs> Actually, I, fuck it, I look a bit like Theo Vaughn if he didn't get coronavirus. I feel sorry for side chicks and burglars because everyone who was paying their bills is back at home with their kids. Thank you. <laughs> They're clapping for the NHS. <laughs> Thank you, NHS. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ruben Aiken Till. Hello. Hi, Ruben. Hey there. How's it going? Good, man. Uh, you in Australia? No, I'm in London, England. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's right. We get those confused sometimes here because we're dumb what? Americans. I am, I am Australian, so at the same time. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. How'd you end up in London? Uh, I, was, I am English, so I moved here. I've been here for the past year. Awesome. Oh, this is as confusing as Wait, it gets. He's so born are, in England, moved yeah. to Australia, and then came back? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm half Australian. I, thought I, was, I just got family out there. Just... Oh, half Australian. That's what, okay. So in England, I guess, if you have a parent that's from Australia, you say you're half Australian. Yeah, you could just, my grand, you, in the 60s, you could get to and from Australia super easily, so. Okay. I love it. I love it. And you deliver food for a living in England? Yeah, for Borough Market in London. On a, I'm on a bike. Delivery. On your on your bicycle. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm on an electric bike, so I don't have to do too much. Oh, very cool. Red Band's into electric bikes right now, right? I just right? got one. Yeah. You did? Yeah, get well, it that's, next month. That's wow, great. exercise find... with no work. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally buy a uh, <laughs> an, an exercise <laughs> equipment piece, and you atta have a... Well, he's, he's, engine attached. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh no! I thought I ordered a popsicle. <laughs> wow! Nobody's having fun in here. All right. <laughs> Who thought the security would be worse in here than it was at the comedy store? All right. First responders only. Home runs. <laughs> <laughs> oh popsicle. My God. Bicycle. <laughs> oh, oh my I God! Didn't. So what but, are you gonna do with this electric bicycle? Well, no, it's it's like a regular bike. It's like a ten speed bike that you can ride, but it also has the electric thing on. Like if you wanted, like trust me, that thing's not ever gonna go ten right. speed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's gonna go one speed <laughs> downhill. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting, Brian. We're excited for you. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everyone. <laughs> we actually saw a video of you rollerblading the other day. You posted on your Instagram. Yeah, so it was video. Could you tell by the video marks and the, how I was filming it off a monitor, Jeremiah? Uh huh. <laughs> Was that really you? No, it, yeah, that was me. Uh, it actually popped up on my Facebook feed, like the memory feed, and I was like, From oh, that's years ago. <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> how long ago? 20 years no, ago. No, Back when people could get it? from uh, England the, to Australia. The year was 1942. <laughs> <laughs> the first pair of rollerblades. <laughs> Wooden wheels. All right, all right, all right. You took us off on a fun tangent there, Ruben. Uh, so you deliver food. <laughs> no. I love that. Did you say yeah. you look like Theo Vaughn if he didn't get coronavirus? Is that what I heard? Uh, yeah, I, just, I don't know where it came from. I just was kind of going for it. I just, just do some mullet, really. I suppose. Oh, no, we see that. Have you always the, had that mullet? The rear, the rear curtain. Have you uh, always had that mullet? No. Or is that... That's it. That's the that's the half Australian part. You're, yeah. you're English in the front, Australian yeah, in the back. The, the yeah, the top part of me, yeah, the, the, the excited part of me. I love it, man. Do I they have it. different names for mullets in England and Australia? Uh, no, they don't. It's just a mullet. But I know it in Swedish. Uh-huh. It's a, ho a hockey free line. They, they claim it just means hockey haircut. Oh. Uh, Very funny, but there you go. Right. So are you currently in uh, quarantine? Are you locked down right now? Uh, I am, but uh, I, as all of you people, I am a key worker that I get to go right. out. Right, absolutely. Get to see the sunshine. 
what's your love life like? You seem like a good looking kid for an Englishman. So, uh, uh what, how's that going for you? Yeah, it was going pretty well, I suppose. Now I just ride bike and draw a lot. Yeah, what do you what, what, what do you like to life. what do you like to draw? Um, just cartoony things. I've got. Uh, oh, that's cool. Like, Is that Tony? <laughs> look at that. Tony the priest. <laughs> that's that, yes. That's clearly me. Uh, me with my priest. red hair. Father Tony. Yes. My my old uh, face. You guys uh, know me. Uh, uh, You're hitting me on. Uh, Okay. Oh, that's oh Brian has just. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's my bike helmet. It's Brian has the Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah. Dread. Uh, the the can the Candalorian. The candy. <laughs> I love it. Uh, You're wearing a Tupac shirt. Do you you have any rap skills? Oh yeah. I don't have zero rap skills. No, sorry. I I try I tried with some friends of mine who are quite good, but my tempo is absolutely terrible. Really? Do you have any special skills or talents that you could share with us other than your drawings? Um, I recently discovered I can do something weird with my eyes. Uh, Great. I don't... Uh... Let's see it. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, oh, that's... We have reached the peak of civilization. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That's, that's my that's the quarantine life. That's my, I love it. How did, how, did, how did you find out recently that you can do that? Um, I was sat at my computer playing video games and I started doing it. Obviously, I couldn't see myself, so I got my camera up and started recording myself. Then looked back at it and it was pretty freaked out. And wow. Red Redman can actually Redman can do that with his uh, with his nipples. <laughs> You're saying Redman can cross his nipples? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Oh my god! Tony could do that with his butthole. Yeah, my dildos and my booty holes. Uh, oh god! Oh, Jesus That's Christ! Like what the fuck, Jeremiah? Jeremiah just My name is Halboy. Oh, his nose already. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> think, of so think of civilization, folks. There you go. Absolutely. There you go, Hal. Thank you, Hal, for that contribution. All right. So, uh, I love it, Ruben. I absolutely love it. Have you done stand-up comedy before? Uh, I did it once before, uh, about two years ago, uh -huh. and then I it went it went it went quite well. I, it was I did a course that led up to doing three minutes in front of a crowd of people in in Brighton, oh, where points. I used to live. That's cool. What made yeah. you uh, What made you not continue to do it? Um, originally, because I moved to London, and then once I got here, I went started going to open mic, and in Brighton, it's got like a friendly crowd of people who are very like, oh yeah, even if you fuck up, they'll clap you along. And then all of a sudden I went to London and it wasn't so much. And I ended up like giving myself loads of excuses and not going so much. And then gave up. Fuck yeah. He quit because yeah. it got really yeah. hard. Because yeah. like... it got hard. That's the, that's the main reason people give up. That's what they tell me. That is true. People give up when it gets hard. Yeah. Say that one more time, Ruben. I, I was inspired to send something to you guys. I, I came to the London show and didn't get picked, so I thought this, this is a perfect oh. opportunity to send a minute in. And yeah, and... we had a lot of fun there in London. That was a great time. We were glad to be alive and uh, healthy again, and uh, that was a hell of a mm. show that we did. Was that the third night? It was a hostile mm -hmm. show. Yeah. Yeah, we were we were loving that night. Yep, that was a blast. <laughs> um, they actually the theater uh, sold out of alcohol that night. Mm -hmm. a little fun, fact. unheard of Un that <laughs> venue. Unheard of. Yeah. So yeah, that was fun. Um, and uh, you were great. Uh, fun times tonight. Uh, what made you perform next to a dumpster? By the way. Um, I was wearing that ski suit, and my sister directs music videos, and she said because it was green, and I. Dumpster was green, so I should do it next to it. Yeah, that was a cool jacket. Yeah, it was well shot. Thank you very much.
We appreciate your submission, Ruben. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time we're in London. Should be soon. Ruben Atkin Till, everybody. Yeah, Thank nice. you, buddy. Yeah, right. Time for a regular. You know him. You love him. It's William Montgomery. Here he is. Hello, William. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty good, sir. Oh, you're from <laughs> London, kidding. too, as well, right? I'm from Australia. Oh, um, okay. Uh, Trail of Tears? No shit. Have you ever been to Oklahoma? I'd be crying, too. Can you imagine those Indian children asking, are we there yet? And the parents are like, shut the fuck up. We're in Pine Buff, Arkansas. Uh, was excited to finally see Roderick Howard's Apollo 13 last night. For those that don't know, he's the balding redheaded black film director. He also did The Da Vinci Code. Uh, I'm writing a Dracula movie starring Ron White. It's called Dracula's Back. The whole time is just Ron White saying, Drax back, Jack, in different locations. Uh, I usually like to leave a pube on the toilet when I use a public restroom. Just something I was brought up doing. That was probably my best joke, that last one. It's That's true. There he is, William Montgomery. How about that trail of tears joke? I felt good about that. You have to wait. You have to wait to talk. They're playing music right now. Go ahead, uh, William. What was that? How about that trail of tears joke? I was going to say, I, I even wrote that down. The only thing I wrote next to your name was trail of tears, so that I could tell you it was a good joke. Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Indeed. Now you're just saying key words. Drax back, Jack. Uh, That's right. I, I think you'll you'll be proud of me. I've been walking a bunch this past week. Yeah, where you've been walking to? Uh, around a park. Yeah. What kind of park? Uh, it seems predominantly Hispanic. Uh huh. You just walk around <laughs> by yourself. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I've had to put Vaseline in between my legs. I'm having bad chafing. I'm 225 now. My uh, upper legs are rubbing against each other. Can we can we see that? Can you stand up? Can we get a full body view of you for a little bit? Yeah, have you started scabbing? We're a little bit concerned over here. Who said that? Don't worry about it. Okay, Hal, I'm just invisible. I, I, invisible invisible's fine quiet would be oh look at that yeah you're you have growths all over your body who's holding the phone hold on put your arms down stand right there go back go back go back put your arms down your boobs are uneven william you look like a yam oh my goodness look, look like at that yeah the left one seems higher okay this man is definitely suffering from diverticulitis look at that you do have diverticulitis Y'all see in this shot? That is incredible. Pink nipple, nipples oh, that's before? a sign of Lyme's disease for sure. You still have the open yeah, wound Lyme's disease. in the middle of your yeah, belly? Is that a motorized bicycle I see in the background there? You at yep. Red Band's house? I've been, riding it, I've been riding it to the Kmart. Yeah? What do you do at the Kmart? Steel shut. I go to the uh, fish section. It's like a... Uh, fish a section at Kmart? Yeah, it's like a cheap uh, aquarium. Oh, okay. What's your favorite kind of fish to steal? <laughs> I thought it was fish the band, like a CD section. Probably catfish. Yeah, I'm, I've been going to the, the Kmart with that. Um, also, my other friend, he has a gun normally. Oh, there he is. We met this young man last week. This is his new partner in crime. What's his name again? Oren. Orin, that's right. I love that. I love that you've been getting a little bit of culture in your life. You could say that we've been eating chitlins and ribs and <laughs> asparagus and you name it. All, what are the greens called? Collard greens. We've been eating collard greens. I've been going to the Kmart stealing fish man if y'all haven't been to kmart recently i just next time we can be at the comedy store together y'all should see the aquarium i've been able to make it my my house oh that's awesome what else have you and Oren been doing for fun 
Gangbanging in Reseda. Gangbanging in Reseda. We've been finding Hispanic girls um, at that park. <laughs> yeah. Um, how, 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 how have the fights been going? Do you usually win those fights against Hispanic women? or? <laughs> Orrin ends up calling someone close to him. He's like, hey, I need to talk. And I go up behind the person on all fours, and then Orrin pushes the person over me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is an interesting way of gangbanging in Reseda. People get hurt as shit. You should see how hard Orrin uh, pushes people, and I'm right behind him just giggling the whole time. That is just incredible. Um, can I ask Orrin a question, actually? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Orin, sure. uh, Orin, hello, and we, we thank you for being on the show. Uh, Thanks, what do son. you? Wh why do you like hanging around William? What is it about William that you like so much? When when you spend enough time in a dish pit with a guy in the trenches, you, you develop a a camaraderie, a, a brotherhood of sorts. And um, this one's not going to die anytime soon. We're going to go inside and do dishes after we're done here. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, you guys are gay. <laughs> you guys are doing <laughs> all the coolest things. William, Shut the fuck up. We used to wash dishes together. Yeah, I know what that means. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. What, who, how do you guys uh, d decide who's going to do what kind of... Who does the drying and who does the washing? I'm the dryer. He's the dryer. I use a bunch of pine saw. Uh, we sort of <laughs> laugh about it. You use pine um, saw on dishes? A lot of pine saw. I'm sort of the pine saw guy. Burns the dryer guy. It's it's fun. It's sort of a, a match made in heaven. That is just perfect. I absolutely love your guys' relationship. Hey, Red Band, what's that dumbass face you're making right now? You think I can't fucking see you? I'm just looking for your eyebrows. Oh, shit. Oh, that's pretty oh. funny. Oh. Okay, somebody call call the burn burn unit right unit because there's a burn unit. A, I'm burned right now. William, someone please call the burn unit. William, every <laughs> every week you 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 ask for us to send you a poster that you could easily save on your phone or take a screenshot on your phone. Why? Do, how come you do not know how to do these simple tasks? How come no one sent me one this week? What really is going on with your eyebrows is the real question. It, it appears as if though there's m a minimal amount of eyebrows there. Has Oren been plucking your eyebrows out? You all should see my pubes right now. Well, why don't you show us, William? Go ahead. I think I think no, nope. no. Nope. This is a good time. Cut. 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 <laughs> yeah, you know what? Forget it, William. Forget it. Forget it. I'm yeah, we're not gonna I'm be using. able to see it over the belly anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're my i'm working on it dude i'm walking three miles a day dude no i'm actually proud of you you're walking around hispanic parks it's great yeah that's great stuff man hi caramba hi caramba indeed i love it dude i thought that was gonna get a bunch of laughter red band liked it red band you're so sweet i really how's your girlfriend you. doing how's your abusive girlfriend doing She's good. I got uh, smacked in the face last night. I was doing something I shouldn't have done. I was making mac and cheese at 3 in the morning. Her grandparents are currently sick. I think Oren got him sick last week. So things are not good uh, in the seat right now. Uh, she hit me so hard in the ear last night, I couldn't hear correctly. It was a bad ringing in my ear. So I'm trying to play it cool today. All right. Well, you did a good job playing it cool. Indeed, William, we love you. We will see you next week. Thank you. Thanks, Oren, right. for being on the show. And uh, hell yeah. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. There goes William Montgomery, everyone. Your next comedian goes by the name of Anthony Wright. Here's some music and then Anthony Wright. Here we go. <laughs> Here's Anthony Wright, everyone. Here we are with Anthony Wright. One of my favorite sexual positions is the one where you're standing and you pick your partner up in the air. But here's the problem, fellas. That position requires a lot of strength and endurance. Like last week, me and my girl was going at it, right? 
And after two exhausting minutes, I finally told her to put me down. I said, that's way too much pressure, you know. Because I don't want her to power bomb me. And now my ankles are resting on her shoulders. You feel me? That's embarrassing. So, you guys remember that toy, Tickle Me Elmo? It was a really famous toy. I always wanted one, but my parents, they couldn't afford one. So instead, they got me a Stroke Me Monster. That's right. Every time I tickled it, it would just say lower. And then it paid me $40. So. That's right. Every time you watch Elmo, think of this guy. That's my time. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Anthony Wright doing basically the impossible, getting an audible laugh in this room from us on that, uh, that pick-up sex, Joe. Congratulations to you, Anthony. Um, welcome to the show. Where are you talking to us from? Uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, yep. absolutely, hell yeah! And uh, have you done stand up before? Can I say how you are? What? I, I feel awkward that I got the awful interview. What did he say? Can, My, can you uh, repeat Baltimore about it? internet? Oh, you got cricket internet? Oh, Baltimore internet. There you go. Um, uh, five years. Five years I've been performing. Five. Oh, okay. Five years you've been doing stand up in Baltimore. You ever do McGoobies? Yeah, I actually saw you perform at McGoobie. Oh, okay. Awesome. They're the home of McCormick seasonings and salts. They're in... uh it's great seasoning, Tony. Timonium, Maryland. Um, hell yeah. So uh, that's awesome. What do you do for a living? I do medical coding. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that here. We have oh, some uh, emergency <laughs> medical technicians here. You guys have any questions for the coder? I mean, what's the, the most recent operating system that you're working with? Uh, so we mainly use 3M. And they gave us new updates for, for COVID. Oh, fuck yeah. Congratulations. You're finally up to date. Heck yeah. <laughs> I love it. And you have a uh, you have a girlfriend, Anthony. Uh, married. Five married. Years. Oh, okay, awesome. Five years. So you started doing stand up right when you got married. Yes, yes, yes. Heck yeah! Any excuse to get out of the house. <laughs> say that one more time. Uh, they say you shouldn't uh, perform comedy while you're married. Right. Right. I'm not sure if that's what happened. Heck yeah. You have any kids? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Heck yeah. When you say not yet, are you trying to have kids? Are you uh, busting uh, nuggets inside of your wife? <laughs> nuggets. 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 You are? Heck yeah. The old Baltimore cream pie. The old uh, three-eyed Baltimore raven. Yeah. The Baltimore Oreo. Yeah. Baltimore Oreo. Is, is your wife white? No, black. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. You get along with her family well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. Awesome. How about uh how about uh your family? Are you guys uh you guys are all close, all cool? Everything's good there? Yeah, we're we're pretty close. Um the only issue is that my mom used to be a bouncer. A bouncer? And now that I do comp your mom used to be a bouncer? Pastor. Oh, a pastor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, a pastor is basically a bouncer of evil spirits and stuff like that, so. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, relax. <laughs> okay. So your mom was a pastor, and then, and then what happened? Yeah, but I'm uncomfortable. Oh. Uh. Uh, you have any uh, special skills or talents? Any fun facts about you that we should know about? Um, besides comedy, addition, so I'm a drummer. Oh wow! And I play keys. <laughs> Surprise! Oh okay, heck yeah, absolutely. You have a drum set somewhere around you? I don't. I don't. Oh okay. No. Sorry, Joel. Hey, hey. All right. Well, I would have loved for you to have uh, to have taken Joel's job from him here today. 
Yeah, no fun allowed today. <laughs> yeah, definitely no fun allowed. Um, I love it, Anthony. Well, I mean, incredible, uh, very fun jokes. You showed your experience here today. I would have been shocked if you would have told me that uh, you haven't done stand-up before. Um, uh, your misdirect jokes were incredibly well disguised and uh, executed and your five years of experience shows and uh, hopefully you'll come out to a kill Tony and sign up next time we're near Baltimore. Tony, can I ask for some quick joke advice? I mean, joke advice on the jokes that you said, uh, you know, I mean, no on the pickup sex. I mean, I guess you could, you could tag those things. I don't, I don't wait, what? Just in general, nothing specific, but, you know. I mean, in general, I'd have to see how you perform these in front of an actual audience. It's really hard to give advice uh, on these um, on these quarantine sets, but I mean, you know, I would I would just have to see it live to really give good advice. But the writing is, if I could give anything, I would probably say that you know, the Tickle Me Elmo reference is sort of outdated. Um, you know, you can always go with uh, what's current, what's new, what's in the news, what's some more topical and fresh in everybody's minds. I don't think anybody under the age of, I don't think anybody under the age of 25 really knows what, a, well, maybe they do. Maybe they were kids during Tickle Me Elmo, actually. Gage, do you know what a Tickle Me Elmo is? You do? They did, still have did you have one as a kid? Yeah, he's yeah. still big. That's like yeah. a like a big bird still, you know. But like if you could like somehow make it like a Fortnite joke or something. Or... Well, I was gonna say when you said, Do you guys remember Tickle Me Elmo? If you have to ask that, maybe don't do it or do something that you don't have to ask if people remember it. Yeah, just say you were molested. I think you're doing a great job. I think uh, I think five years in Baltimore is uh, probably one of the top ten comedy cities in the country. And, uh, you know, just keep at it. Keep writing and uh, do your thing. But I mean, I can tell you're great just from getting us to laugh here in studio. So keep it up. Keep up the great work. And we'll see you soon. Anthony Wright, everybody. There goes Anthony. Thank you, man. social media at i write comedy w r i g h t and uh we're gonna keep it moving along here your next comedian goes by the name of victoria thompson everyone here's victoria you want to play some music and then victoria here's victoria thompson not gonna lie i do miss cooking for two people maybe i shouldn't have had that abortion I've been single for so long, I don't even think my vibrator likes me anymore. Doesn't even turn on. I tried to use it last night, and it said, what's the point? I even offered anal. Shh. I think my vagina is depressed. I found a tampon tied in a noose and a suicide note on a maxi pad. My ex used to say, beauty is on the inside, all the time. My friend has a daughter with Down syndrome. She named her Debbie. <laughs> By respecting my parents' wishes, I would have killed myself a long time ago. Not all math jokes add up. I'm moving to Texas because tornadoes are right up my alley. <laughs> Love it. Heck yeah. Victoria Thompson. Hello, Victoria. How are you? Hey, dude. What's up? Where are, we, where are you at right now? <laughs> in Red Band's living in room. <laughs> where are you I again? I'm in my bedroom in beautiful Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. That's right. And mm -hmm. you've been on this show twice before? Hell yeah, dude. That's right, and uh, I love it, man. You, uh, th these were uh, these were good, good, uh, good jokes. <laughs> the Debbie Downer one got me. That's yeah, great. very <laughs> funny. It, Tam tampon Thanks. was funny. It yeah, shows that you've been working on uh, working on writing without a doubt. You got a couple Thanks, laughs here man. today. 
Um, <laughs> and good size, good size uh, dildo too. You look like you had some uh, some nice girth on that one. Yeah, there you go. Red band complimenting the size of your dildo. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Heck yeah. Do you live by yourself, Victoria? I do not. I have two roommates, and they are both fucking, and I'm not. Wow. <clears throat> so you've been, uh, you've not been having sex with anyone during the quarantine? I have been masturbating a lot. There you go. You got Red Band to make his fart noise. That's what he thinks a woman <laughs> masturbating sounds like. Well, with the size of that dildo. Heck yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Is that the biggest dildo you've ever seen, Red Band? No, no, it's just got a good girth. Usually it's not that girthy. It's a good How girthy? girthy How girthy is that thing, really? Can you put your hand around it one more time? Yeah, can we get a circumference real quick? It's hard to tell at this angle. Get that sucked up off there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh. That is that is a sort of a... Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that thing is... That doesn't even have a suction on it. That's just... Uh... Sticky from all the fun you've been having. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so is there something when you masturbate? Do you like masturbate to porn or your imagination? Is there something that uh, that you like to uh, have on in the background? Perhaps uh, the sound of waves yeah, or I've... dogs barking or something. <laughs> I like dolphins. Dolphins are fun. Um, I like the sound of children crying. Um. Mostly, I like, I like, <laughs> I like, like gangbang porn. That's, oh, uh, that's my thing. Oh, wow. Is there a specific yeah. kind of gangbang porn that you like? Is it mostly black men? Is it perhaps white trash? Like uh, our friends over at MidwestFreaks.com. Like there's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> what the <laughs> what? <laughs> like, uh, Why'd you look me like, in the eye when you said you, you have friends over there at Midwest control. Freaks? If anyone knows Midwest Freaks, it's you right <laughs> What? You're the, porn, you're the porn guy on this uh, show. Oh, yeah, Midwest Freaks. That's my favorite. Joel knows the drums. You know the porn. So we all have our own specialties here. Uh, everybody has their own X Men ability with this group. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Freaks with a Z. Yeah. Uh, so what kind of gangbangs are you into? Hopefully social distance ones. <laughs> you know, those are uh, those are hard. But uh, I love the one where it's like 50 guys and one like tiny little Asian girl. Oh uh, my God! You're about to get. <laughs> this is going to be the first time Red Band's proposed to somebody on the show. Red Band's going to start exercising, doing pull-ups on your dildo. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's going to get a motorized uh, step stool to stand on. That's going to lift him up over the Brian on his bike. <laughs> he does pull-ups. The uh, the dessert treat pull-up. Oh, that's a push-up. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time fucking... since I had one of those. I used to love those. those things are they good. still make those? Yeah. And they have uh... <laughs> like you push up the little straw? Oh, what, a push pop? Is it? Is it yeah, a push pop. Is it a push pop? The yeah, pop push up. The pop thickle, the pop, yeah, the pop you push, the more you push. Push pop? Yeah. The pop you push. push yeah, you you got to push like the pop to get push the pop pushing. Yeah. Push ups. Push up. Pop that pushy. Pop, pop okay. that push. <laughs> no? All right. I love it. Victoria, have you been working during the quarantine? Um, I have not. What do you do for work? I've been sir. Uh, I don't. I've uh, sorry. I've been living off my savings for since uh, December. Um, but I am looking. So. Oh okay. What do you think you're gonna end up? What do you think? What do you think you're gonna end up doing? Dude, I've done like everything, so I have no idea. <laughs> Heck yeah. Maybe. What are you, I'll, uh, what's your skill set like on your resume that you put down? Dude, everything from, like, I've done customer service to supervising to fucking traffic control. Uh, like, construction. Maybe you could do traffic control everything. for a gangbang. <laughs> yeah, what would that look like, Joel? <laughs> <laughs> two, two, two dildos <laughs> this way Light and then, up. like, and this. lit up. I love it. What do you, what do you... <laughs> Oh my wow. goodness. Oh no, she's gonna start fight. Hey, Whoa. look at that. Wow. I guess it is May the Fourth be with you. One for the butt, one for the butt. <laughs> oh my god. That is incredible. That is just absolutely incredible. Is that a vibrator, the the uh, gray looking one? 
It is. Yeah, gang's all there. Does it work? <laughs> it does not. <laughs> There's truth to uh, my joke. <laughs> my goodness. So what happened there? Did the batteries die or did they just kill themselves? Oh, they, ki they killed Kill themselves. Dude. Wow. I don't, even, I, I don't even think I can take them out. <laughs> oh, my I goodness. Know. I don't use it anymore. That is incredible. <laughs> those are, those are the, the Ds that you can't get. Can't get the... <laughs> I mean, you can't get the D's. If they put D batteries in a vibrator, that's just sick. <laughs> that's a big battery. Okay. Um, anything else we should know about you, Victoria? Any fun facts about Victoria we should know about? You ever been, uh, you ever been raped by a, uh, by a bison, perhaps, or something like that? Any fun facts? That you know, there was that one time that I don't talk about when I was 13. I got raped by a bison. Oh. Have, you ever, had, have um, you ever had public sex anywhere? Like out in the that's public a good somewhere? question. Uh, sort of. Yeah. Sort of. When you say sort of, what do you mean? Um, like you were up against the window, into a window and it broke and... You think of like an Arizona room? <laughs> yeah, I was up against the window and then it broke. No, I'm just kidding. No, um... It, we were outside. It was me and my ex. We were outside, and uh, pretty sure our neighbors could see. But we, he was getting ready to go on a trip, and we had just bought a car. And I was like, "Well, it's you know, we're gonna break the car." And so we just like fucked for hours outside, like top of the car, um, you know, doors open, everything. Um, what kind of car was this? Like I'm a Ford sure. Taurus? Or I, th I thought you were gonna say you shoved your head <laughs> in a mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> just that. No. <laughs> Here. And he was like special. We're trying thing. to. You're really bringing it. Oh, down. really trying. Okay. <laughs> Why would someone put her head in a mailbox? Because she said she kind of fucked outside. I thought the visual was funny of just her yeah, head in the mailbox. <laughs> moved on. She's already telling us. I hadn't yet. What kind of car was it? Do you remember the kind of car? So are you half Australian or half uh, English? Let's all ask a question at the same time. <laughs> Let's all ask. Go ahead. Let's all. You go. Well, you go. Yeah. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Do you What's that your like? Much want to know the Fiat. Is orange short for orange yeah. soda? Even, even when we try, Jeremiah still has to get the last word in. <laughs> even when I make a joke about how he does that, he's still <laughs> orange soda. All right, Victoria. Fun times. I would say that this. I remember your last two sets. I remember your first one oh. being uh you know, somewhere between okay and good. And I remember the second one being less, right? It was sort of like, sort of like, you know, in stand up, there's, there's waves to these things, especially when you have to do new 60 seconds each time. And, uh, and here you are pulling out what appears, what I would say is your best written jokes out of the three performances. So there you go. That's what matters most is your most recent, you know, on the, the last dance, which I watched last night oh, on Express VPN, um, they had an amazing, Phil Jackson had an amazing quote, which said, uh, you are only a success while performing a successful act. And, uh, you just did that right then. So congratulations okay. to you, Victoria Thompson. Congratulations. There she is. Tony. Married to Metal X. Here's David Lucas, everyone. He's a regular on the show. How's it going, David? How are you? What up, fool? What, what's shaking out there? Not much, dog. Being a daddy this week. Got my baby with me. Oh. Come say what's up, Yuri. You got your kid? Hey. Aww. What's up? Oh, let me see if y'all can hear it if I take it. She wants to say a joke. I love that. I, I absolutely would love how old is she again? She's five. Oh, heck yeah. We've never had a joke from a five-year-old in the history of Bill Tony. She might be about to take my uh, regular spot. Yeah, I would love that. Cook. Take it. Why did the cow was laying on the ground? Hold on. Say that one more time. Why did the cow was laying on the ground? Why did the cow lay on the ground? Why? The cow the cow on the ground? Why? Ground beef. <laughs> 
ground beef. <laughs> Red Band just died of laughter okay. and hunger. <laughs> what? Uh oh, she, oh, Tony, she said she want to roast you. Okay, let's do it. Well, Make I hear the good donut head from the trash can. <laughs> what else he look like? Him right there. Well, why you have look like toilet paper head from the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> what else he look like? Well, why you have like a donut head with sprinkles and so and somebody went to eat him? <laughs> <laughs> what else he look like? Why he look like a chair by this and um, somebody but to sit on him. <laughs> <laughs> well baby, you don't know, but Tony is actually a chair that people sit on. That's me. <laughs> That's me. That's absolutely true. Why well, look like a, a lamp burn for your head? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me talk to him, okay baby? Okay. That Thank is you, yeah. adorable. Oh, what a performance. Standing ovation from the uh, producers here at Better Box Studio, Gage and Anthony. That's the first time we've had a five-year-old on the show. That, uh, that is awesome, David. <laughs> Red band just asked her if she wanted to spot up the ice house. On Hold on, we head. lost uh, we lost sound from you. Can you hear can Can you hear us, David? Oh, he's gone mute on us. For some reason, we're not picking up your microphone. Hold on, let's figure it out here. Your daughter killed too hard. <laughs> Why would that change the sound? She killed so hard that it ruined the signal between the microphone and the but digital how would that, system. But how would, that, how would that physically happen? How would she do so good? Sometimes magic exists, Tony. <laughs> what? Because the feedback basically from our laughter in his earbuds exposed you. the phone Thank to you. different elements, huh? which caused it to break down. Hey, refresh it. David, yeah, they're, they're saying refresh your... Re refresh it. Refresh whatever you're refreshing. David Lucas almost uh, becoming famous for having some of the worst internet out of yeah. all the regulars. It's weird that William Montgomery staying with his girlfriend's grandparents <laughs> and Oren has better Wi-Fi. <laughs> outside. Outside. On even. a patio than David does. David, can you, can you hear us now? Hello, David. Say something. God damn. David looks like he got stung by one of those new murder hornets. I know, right on the lips. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> the Charlotte murder hornet. My goodness gracious. Hey, hey, hey. hey, there you are. Hey, David. I bet he gives the best Zerberts. All right. So what else is shaking? How's the quarantine going for you? Do we lose him again? I think we're losing David. We might oh, need to get a him. first responder. Wow. Huh. <laughs> He's coding. Here you go. Go get it. Go give chest compressions. We're gonna need all six hands for that. <laughs> there goes, there goes Hal. He's I'll jump back. on. <laughs> He's in the producer's booth. He's looking at oh, the screen. Oh, we No, he's back. Can you hear us now, David? Do you oh, have any other him. medical conditions them. we should know about? <laughs> yes. He definitely has diabetes, <laughs> high blood pressure. He oh, has shit. an electric, he has an electric motorized bicycle. <laughs> we lost him. We lost him. Oh, this wow. is the part of the job that they can't train you for. You we know? love David That's Lucas. It's, it's ironic that we are playing Sean Combs, We'll Be Missing You. And then... David, can you hear us now? Sean Combs. Yeah. <laughs> How many fingers? How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> there you go. Okay. David, we love you. Yes. Absolutely. Your next comedian goes by the name of Jonathan Lewis. Here's a quick song, a very quick song, and then Jonathan. Here it is, Jonathan Lewis, everybody. Here we go. Hello, America's number one podcast, Hill Tony. I'll be right over. So since I found myself out of work when this quarantine started, 
I started producing videos of cereal having sex. I'm calling it Frosted Porn Flakes. <laughs> wow, hell yeah. Absolutely. Definitely, that's well, great. Jonathan, a well produced video. Hi. That's awesome. How are you, man? How's Thank it going? You. you know, we're hanging in there, Tony. How are you guys? We're the, doing the same exact thing. Absolutely. Where are you calling us from? The Crypt from Tales from I'm the in... Crypt? Exactly. Uh, we've relocated to New York City for our new season. Uh, we're setting up now in this apartment. That's awesome. What part of New York are you in? I'm in Brooklyn, Crown Heights. Wow. And do you do have you done stand up comedy before? Not not really. I used to be a theater director, but I think my uh, careers in a coma are dead. So I guess I'm doing this now. Right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. What uh, was it a popular theater that you directed? Uh, no, I'm never going to be good enough to be popular. Tony, I'm, I'm too niche. Do you see this? You see what's going on? Hey, you look like the drawing of They're me like... from last week. <laughs> you go. We're having fun again. All right. We're having look fun what you again. did there. It was self-deprecating. It was a joke. It made sense. Did you know that... away from this guy's production why, value. Why did your doors open perfect? Did you know that your doors are open behind you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was in, this is incredible. You have such great production value going on over there. I don't know what's going on. It appeared as if though there was a ghost behind you. Did you notice that? There was a ghost under a sheet. What? We've we've been having problems with spirits lately. I think I contacted the first Paul McCartney who died in 1966. Oh, you and need he's to call him our apartment right now. Yeah, yeah, we need one. Wow. I love the minute. I didn't know David Lynch was directing stand-up. My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> I knew he'd like that. I know. <laughs> so you seem you like the kind of guy to... that would have fun hobbies during uh, during the quarantine. How have you been passing the time? I've been, I've been spending a lot of time on Tinder. I think I've got my Tinder bio down to a science. Uh, I've been making a lot of weird videos like this. I've been smoking a lot of pot. Yeah. What is your What is your Tinder bio? I, I can read it to you if you want. Please do. Absolutely. It's it's it's, it's kind of out there. But if any ladies are in the central New York area listening, please right. listen extra carefully. So you're not dating the comedy so for, store curtains? My picture is this nice picture of me shirtless, so they know what they're getting right off the bat. Fuck yeah. And here's my bio. My 2020 date idea. Put your feet in my face while you tell me you can't morally support Trump or Joe Biden. Will, spend hours discussing the nature of reality with you. Will, let you spit in my mouth in the family bathroom of MoMA. Won't, ride a Ferris wheel. Won't, kick you out of my car in the middle of Death Valley, roll down my window, sigh, say that showbiz kids and leave you stranded. Have, have you been getting a lot of matches? More than you would think. Yeah. Wait, you didn't let him finish. The last one was, will kill you. <laughs> Maybe, if you're into it, if it's a consent kink. Who was the girl that played the, uh, that played the um, curtains in your video? That's, uh, that's my roommate's girlfriend. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, that's fun that she contributed like that. That's I thought cool. she was very, I thought she really embodied the character of those curtains. And your roommate was the cameraman, I'm guessing. My roommate was the cameraman. He does independent work uh, on the side as a cameraman. Very cool. Where did you move to New York from? Uh, I moved, I grew up in South Carolina, but I've also done things. I got like, I worked at Disney World for a little while in Orlando, just kind of what bounced did, around. What did you do in, uh, in Disney World? <laughs> I was actually fired for telling dirty jokes on my Jungle Cruise in 2014. Oh, gosh. oh okay. Yeah. What what yeah. joke what joke did one? you tell? Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites is up ahead are the lions. Please don't worry about that zebra. It's just demonstrating the favorite position of our female skipper. You lie back and get eaten. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. So that was you were like trying <laughs> to get fired at that point, right? You knew. Yeah. Yeah, I had a I had a good presidential assassination joke at the Hall of Presidents. Yeah, what uh, was that? Where I would 
I would get over the spiel and uh, say no smoking except for that hole in the back of Mr. Kennedy's head. Oh. Oh. I, I yeah. <laughs> My it wasn't, goodness. It wasn't good for Disney. It wasn't good. Yeah. Especially yeah. since the hole's in the, really the front of his head. The whole head. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think did that? <laughs> uh, um, uh, I, I, I don't know, but if we ever find them, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to be first in line for a good kick. We actually visited the uh, the grassy knoll when last time we were in Dallas. We went right and stood right on the X. Wow. Me, Jeremiah, and wow. Joel, of course. It was during the day, so Red <laughs> Band uh, was in his hotel room sleeping. It's before his sleep schedule changed. Yeah, I'm not. What, what, don't give what, a shit what, about what a street. Doing? Yeah, he doesn't give a Somebody shit a about a street. He actually postmated the street to his apartment. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> we went out to have lunch. We ate right next to that. We ate in a train car. Remember that amazing spaghetti oh, factory? Good. Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me about this guy. I know. I know. <laughs> spaghetti, whoa. We couldn't. You couldn't have gone with us. They don't allow spaghetti factories inside of the spaghetti factory. <laughs> <laughs> it's blood type ragu oh my goodness yep. gracious interesting stuff what's your favorite food uh jonathan you know i like potatoes uh they're a pretty good utility food you can boil mm -hmm. them you can uh, you can make basically anything you need with them you are what you they eat that's potato. why you actually look like a potato yeah, exactly like that's incredible. I'm actually back going into potatoes. For the yeah, potatoes. what kind of potatoes do you like, Brian? Like, 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 just like a whole potato. Like, you know, put some little sour cream and a little. Do butter you cook in there. it in your oven? Yeah, yeah, yeah microwave it. it. Oh, you microwave yeah, it. Yeah, microwave. You found a way. Like to... a baked potato. <laughs> you found a way. To... That means that's like one microwave of the main baked things <laughs> microwaves too. <laughs> you found a way to uh, <laughs> somehow make potatoes more unhealthy than they are. No. <laughs> Pretty much the easiest way to make a potato. You look like yeah. Mr. Clean's evil twin brother, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Dirty. Mr. Clean's <laughs> <laughs> That's what is I'll the What is the wildest thing you've done to a woman in the bedroom? You really do seem like a kinky dude. You seem like you have a latex suit that fits you perfectly. Uh, so tell us about some of your uh, kinks and stinks over there. There was this girl that I knew, it doesn't matter what her name is, but she was into blood, and I didn't really know if I was into it, because that's a lot. Uh, but we went to this haunted graveyard in South Carolina called Montrose Cemetery, and she gave me a little cut and did like a blood ritual. Uh, and then we had like pretty good sex. We had like oh. pretty good sex. Wow. Pretty good sex. She would cut herself, and then would she rub it on you, no, or what? Cut did... him. Cut no, you? She, she was cut. He was cutting me. She was cutting me. Wow. You ever have a girl yeah. like step on your balls with high heels or anything creepy like that? I mean, awesome no, like but that. No, quarantine's very young. Quarantine's so young. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm hey, one Quentin Tarantino movie see. away from it. <laughs> you just realized. How about you guys? You guys are emergency responsers. Have you ever had to, you know, has anybody ever done anything sexually in which they needed saving? Anything you've ever seen or uh, done? Uh, well, it's very normal sometimes when people die that uh, blood will still be flowing in their body. So sometimes uh, people wait, will wait, have. Wait. Hold on a wait. second. I, I'm pretty sure that that's the opposite of dead. It's no. Blood is flowing. Blood will still. Let me finish. Blood will still be flowing in their bodies, and they will sometimes uh, an erection will emerge. Uh, so it is uh, an awkward situation that I've been put in. Like, do I finish the man who <laughs> has the boner out of respect for his life, or do I let it subside? And that was his last thing so that he ever. So what was the decision that you made? I finished him. Yeah. How did you do that with your <laughs> with your hand with your mouth? Uh, with a hand sanitizer. Oh my yep. goodness! Yep. Did you use a glove? No. <laughs> oh, wow. How? How, you dirty bastard, you. No, none of your own spit or anything on there, just for, out of respect <laughs> for the dead? No, uh, I wanted to keep it clean with a hand sanitizer, and since he was dead, he could not feel the burn anymore. Wow. Look at that. A lot of revelations here. Now. There's no way to follow that, Jonathan. Thank you so much for your it's submission. Not. Thanks for the incredible production value. And uh, thank you to the roommates. Hey, look at that. Look at these guys. Wait, 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 wait. Look, 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 look. Look at that. More wow. amazing production if value. If only he had put that same amount of production value into his joke. Okay, Joel. What? Way to, way to sneak another one in there. Jonathan, we love you. Thank you, Jonathan. Your next 
be comedian me. I actually yeah. know. This is very exciting. This is his first time performing on the show. This guy is a friend of my older brother. I've known him for a long time. He's been to many Kill Tonys. Here's Griff Kohout, everyone. Here's some music. The Danger Zone. Here's Griff, everyone. It's crazy times, corona madness, but really it's the tech takeover, changing our world faster than Jeffrey Epstein's cup of coffee prison visit. Humans read books, and now we crush documentaries, and those used to bore the shit out of us. We explore different bars trying to get laid. Now it's a clusterfuck of dating apps full of all the same awkward people who can't screw. We used to go bowling to blow off steam. Now if we want to knock over pinheads, we go social media trolling. Those were the days before PC culture, cameras all over comedy clubs, when all you had to worry about was the weed guy's number, if we listened to both sides of the record yet, and whether or not Steve Martin was a narc. The good old days were when starving yourself to perfection wasn't intermittent fasting, it was called anorexia, when streaming was just a nice long piss, when a keyboard was the thing on the wall, when you checked in at a seedy motel with your buddy's fun aunt, and when a mouse was just a furry little something Richard Gere tamponed up his butt when he ran out of TP. Yeah, the tech made us soft. It made us lazy. The screens, the tablets. Bill Cosby should have just waited until we all turned into the zombie pudding pops he so desired. Fuck yeah, grip. Fuck yeah. Danger zone. Hell yeah, grip. What's shaking out there in beautiful Venice Beach? Oh. Greetings, Earthlings. May the fourth be with you. Hell yeah, absolutely. Smoking a blunt just like every single friend of my older brothers is doing right now and continuously. Uh, Got to. We love it. We love it. You're out there in beautiful Venice Beach. Um, you are... Well, may, may the fourth be with you, Star Wars. I'm thinking about two years ago, George Lucas, boom, blew me up like the Death Star right by the Venice Pier. This guy hit me with... 40 years worth of weightage from all those lobster tails and prime ribs. What happened with George Lucas? Boom. He hit me, blind side hit like Ray Lewis charging. And I go, hey, buddy, watch where you're going. He tried to Jedi mind trick me. He goes, I haven't been drinking anything. I didn't say you had. And then we just stare at each other. I love that. And he walks off. A lot of stuff happens out there in Venice Beach. Uh, there's no way for the listeners to know this, but Griff, this guy right here, um, is basically an icon of Venice Beach. He's out there every day, on the streets, bicycling, hanging out. What's that mean, Capper? What's your? Why are you wearing a Kaepernick? That's jersey? an icon. That's an icon, Kaepernick. Absolutely. Absolutely. When I have jerseys, but thank you, thank you. And actually, I came across a, uh, a video I was sent by my brother last week of, uh, of you out there on your bicycle enforcing uh, some Venice Beach street justice like you're known to do. Uh, Gage, can you roll this video for the cat here to see? Say to the elf. Peacefully. Well, as your boy Ron, we had to defend him. Yeah. This guy was on one. The guy, there's a guy here who uh, is across the street right now. This is the iconic Venice Beach uh, intersection there. And um, This guy was uh, not, not keeping it herbal. He was definitely not keeping it herbal, as you guys say out there. He's playing loud music in this red car on the right. That's him shirtless in the middle of the street, bothering people. What the fuck you doing, bro? Why are you fucking with people? Because they're fucking with me. No, they're not. And, and this is Griff on his bicycle. With, the, with this, it's your bicycle helmet uh, camera. Yeah, he was he was going wild. He's got this nice red Infinity car here. He was zipping around at that, going about 80 miles an hour. So we had to go uh, give him a talking to, you know. I love that you guys enforce street justice here in Venice Beach. And what ends up happening here is glorious. Yeah. Hold on, can you? You don't need a gun. You just hold on. You need a camera. I, I just want to give the backstory that this guy right now that's on the screen is uh is one of our favorite people it's a very nice gentle older man a very jerry garcia like uh human named ron who everybody loves he's a sweet ronzilla older, ronzilla he's a sweet older guy one of the most likable sweet souls and this guy gets up yeah. in his face you can roll it now gage you better watch out homie like ron couldn't hurt a fly and this guy's getting up in his face you better chill. You better relax. Don't come near me, please. What's gonna happen? It's pacifism. Cops are gonna have to talk to you. Okay. LAPD's gonna You're talk homeless, to you. Bro. 
Oh, we called Grip homeless. You do not do that in Venice Beach. This guy, we gotta get this guy. We gotta get you, homie. your property back. He's lucky. He got a pass that day. Yeah, we got it. We gotta get it. And this is the part. I don't know if we can hear it, but he says the guys like you, Griff, and Ron, have been lowering his property value. Stay away from me, homie. He tried to flop into me like a European soccer player right here. <laughs> trying to flop. That was it. And then let's watch this next video. This is what let's, it, it cuts out here, and then it gets right into uh, right into the ending here, which is. You're gonna get raped in jail. <laughs> They're gonna rape you in jail, homie. You think prison scares me? Look at this. Why do you think that is blood? Well, dude, you gotta chill. You gotta relax. Dude. This guy shows yeah, you a bruise. Down. And then he slaps your sunglasses have. off. He got lucky. Face. He got lucky. Let's just say he's lucky the Don wasn't there. Let's say. Oh yeah, exactly. The Don and is Jake my came in. That's what yeah. they call my brother. And then my brother is known for physically assaulting people. In, allegedly, in, allegedly, allegedly in Venice Beach regularly. A fun fact: my brother, also from Youngstown, Ohio, all-time undefeated in fights, 214 <laughs> and zero. This includes uh, he one time he be beat up seven guys at once with a dog wow. leash, a dog chain. <laughs> they, they, they had they had circled him in front of our old house in Youngstown, and he had uh, the the there there was a chain that they would attach the dog to uh, connected to a tree, and when they encircled him, he grabbed the chain off of the tree and started spinning it around, Kill Bill style, whipping guys and beat up seven guys at once. He's a nice. legend all around the world. He's resourceful. <laughs> he is resourceful. And uh, that guy ended up getting taken away by the police and getting his car towed from that spot in Venice Beach, thanks yeah. to your street justice, right? Stoner, peaceful justice. I love it, man. That, that's right there where Danny's used to be, right? Right there, in the cut. Oh, yeah. That's where there's it all goes show, down. There's a show in the video, does it show the cops actually come up to him and do anything? Or? Yeah, that was uh, that was that last part right there. Uh, you know, that's what we all started talking. He started playing bully victim for a little bit, and then it all got sorted out in a couple minutes. And I love the way you did it. You said, uh, that guy stomped on my sunglasses. That guy crush my glasses which you could say at any time even if the glasses aren't right. broken it's a very educational <laughs> it's a great way use to your props absolutely use your props definitely you're like venice beach carrot top out there enforcing justice <laughs> I fucking, smoke I it more though smoke it a lot more hell yeah you are definitely definitely man <laughs> I love it. So, uh, how's the beach life been going with all this quarantine stuff happening? I know, obviously, a lot less foot traffic. You know, it's kind of nice. The biking around is pretty groovy. Mm -hmm. we, we're putting up a lot of art. Uh -huh. Legalization art, homeless awareness art. But there's a lot of cops around. But, you know, the art's good. We're hanging out with old Fred, Carlin's buddy. He's around. Yep. Old Fred, we're uh, playing with his wiring, blowing inside him, like an old cartridge. I hear uh, they poured yeah. sand in uh, the skate park. Yeah, in they poured. Venice. They yeah. poured sand in the skate yeah. park, right? Yeah. So they let you bike around, but they don't like the babes hanging out in big groups, which is a shame. But soon enough, soon enough. Right. We we'll listen together. to Mayor Eric uh, Eric Perfect. Confetti, and we'll stay indoors for a bit. <laughs> I love it. It's true. One of my few. Uh, one of my few what would they call it places of serenity here in los angeles where i go to get yeah. away from all the stand-up there's nothing more fun than going and visiting my brother and you and the whole gang of uh hoodlums out there in venice beach and having a smoke and a drink and kicking it with oh, you yeah. guys staring at the ocean oh, yeah. you, you guys live a whole different life out there only 20 well 12 minutes away now that there's no traffic i've been able to take the 10 oh. to go visit donnie a couple times during this quarantine it's unfucking believable this is like summer vacation for locals. Enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's insane. I am really yeah. getting uh, really getting bang for my buck with that Corvette now that there's no traffic. Ooh, that's a nice one. You got a nice one. Yeah. Ooh, that's it. Uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, you like that one. Anyways, we got to get you down to Ben & Jerry's, Tony. Ben & Jerry's on the boardwalk. What's Ben & Jerry's? Well, they said I'm next to a mom and pop ice cream that's been there a long time. So now we go to Ben and Jerry's. We do street poetry. We do all sorts of shows there. 
Oh, that's great. You fuck with the Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, we're trying to get them to move up to the freak show that's empty. Yo, right. do you remember do you remember Big Daddy's? Oh yeah, they're there. They're throwing Hell, down. Yeah. Another fun chicken fact. pizza. Another fun fact is that you and a lot of the Venice Beach locals ran out uh, Snapchat. You ran those guys out of town. They tried to take over all of Venice Beach. They bought up a lot of the mom and pop right. shops, and it was a really big deal. Okay. And you are one of the, uh, you know, one of the main people that, you know, I, I mean, can... I know you're a humble soul and you're not going to take credit for it, but all of you guys combined spooked them I'm out. I'm loud. There. When you get me outside, I could be very loud. So, yes. <laughs> do you do you, uh, do you ever hang out at the uh, Comedy Underground there with Bronson? The, uh, the oh, yeah. Comedy Ron, show? Devlin, a, good team. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Those guys, uh, this whole crew is super regulars there. They're almost at every single oh, show. They support everything built from the ground up in Venice Beach. Uh, one of the, you know, iconic yeah, the, the fucking the premium, uh, premium ancient alien vibes down there. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That comedy underground is one of the coolest. I've yeah, told I everybody it. one of the coolest places. I mean, yeah. it is, it to me it, as far as all of Los Angeles, the entire surrounding Los Angeles area, it is comedy store first, of course, and then that place, and oh, yeah. then everywhere else. Um, That's a spot to be Wednesday night. Yep. Definitely. I can't wait for things to be back opened up again, and we'll all be kicking it again soon. Griff, thank you so much oh, for yeah. this appearance. Thank Becky, you guys, Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. I'm Fuck right. yeah, sticky notes. I love Keep that. Keep it horrible, guys. Trip. Thank you. Love you guys. Let's go. Yeah. Two red bands, two hero. We love you, Griff. Shout out to Griff Kohout, and uh, he is out there on social media. We don't have a, uh, a thing written down for him, but uh, we'll figure that one out. He'll be on the show again soon. We'll get him out on an actual show. Uh, when uh, we're all back and running again. Ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we have come to that time of the night where we are graced by a genius. You've heard it touched by an angel. This is graced by a genius. It is my favorite part of every episode of this modern show. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the slayer, Michael Lehrer, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> Here he is, Michael Lair. Michael. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's Tony. Yes. Look, I've been going through changes, the plague, and personal and professional obstacles have made me realize what's important. I'm in the flow state now. I know my time is more valuable than anyone on earth, and I know how I want to spend it. Writing and starring in pornos. Oh. Not just any pornos, all right? I want to make the curb your enthusiasm of pornos. It, except I'm disabled, I'm always angry, and there's full penetration. <laughs> it's called Cool Your Jets. Wow. All right. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Tony, uh -huh. now I'd like to present to all of the... Um, <laughs> Porno, porno platforms, and um, Tony will read um, intros to scenes from my pitch deck for my show, Cool Your Jets. Absolutely. The uh, and uh, here we go. So the first scene is uh, it's called Galoshes for Wheelchair Wheels. Um, this is the Curb Your Enthusiasm of Pornos, and uh, this is where Michael argues with a clerk at a medical supply store because they do not offer galoshes for wheelchair wheels. Go ahead, Michael. Okay, it's called Cool Your Jets. Brian, hit me. <laughs> oh, how 
Morgan. <laughs> Not all for garages for wheelchair wheels. Wheelchairs are outside and then they're inside. People take off their shoes. I can't take off my wheels. How can you have all this shit, but you don't have galoshes for wheelchair wheels? It'd be as simple as putting on a condom. Yeah, I can Just put man. on one of those. Jesus, Brian. I somehow knew you would fuck this up. I knew that the, I knew that the, I knew that the I knew, somehow I knew that the dying man was not going to miss a beat and that Red Band would fuck up on the first fucking opportunity. Well, no, Make just, an excuse, go ahead. I think they have this thing running through a delay, so I I, I have to uh -huh. hit it and it's like a five second yeah. delay. Yeah, for some don't don't uh, just don't hit anything until he cues right, you up. Right, right. Really wait for I the cue. I, I was going I, I I I was going to tell you this before him, but I really figured maybe he won't fuck this one up. Do you think maybe? Do you think maybe um, my work is too high concept? No, no, you're great. <laughs> you're great. It's uh, just. It's just uh it's just red band. Let's move on to the let's move on to the next scene, shall we? I'm gonna pitch this to the porno platforms for you, okay? No, um Tony, why don't we just talk if you more chill? Oh no, no, I like this. I'm telling really? you, this is fucking gold. I love this. Oh uh, there's no way red band can fuck up again. This is just No, you didn't. Hey, can, can you turn off the delay if there's one of them? There's no fucking delay, Red Band. Just wait until he cues you to hit the button. Let the five second delay happen. I'm going to watch you hit the button after he cues you up. There hasn't been another delay on any of these buttons. I've been watching the whole time. Okay, yeah, there's a fucking delay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes there's a delay. You're the delay, Red Band. 100% there's a fucking delay, yes, Tony. Red Band. Yes, yes, there yes. Is. I don't know why you guys survived because There wasn't of even me. a delay. You hey, look, hit the button uh, uh, and you hit, knocked over. I hit the bullet. Okay. There you go. Yeah, the five second changed, delay. Yeah, it, it's different now. They changed something. Can no, I they, just No they didn't. Can I just band. say, Michael, look what life. you've done. Okay. <laughs> Let's do the next uh curb your enthusiasm of porn uh no, scene here. Tony, it's no. called cool oh your jets. You son of a bitch. I know it's called cool your jets. It's the curb your enthusiasm of pornos. <laughs> This next scene's called Cushion the Blow, where Michael argues with a disability charity in regards to the assistance they offer. Uh, what do you mean you can loan me a wheelchair cushion? You're gonna loan me one. So some dead guy's ass has been on this cushion until he died. And then you're going to loan me that cushion. And then my ass is going to be on it. Well, how about this? How about you loan me a fan to keep my balls cool on this cushion? Oh, you have other ways of cooling my balls? <laughs> <laughs> there was a little bit of a delay on that one. There was a little bit of a delay. There you go. Two and a half seconds. This next one's called Rush Driver. Michael argues with a bus driver who forgets to check if Michael is safely secured to the bus. It looks like that this apology is, is delayed too. This is Rush Driver where Michael argues with a bus driver who forgets to check if Michael is safely secured to the bus. Take it away, Michael. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> 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 the bus. Excuse me. I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue you unless you wanna settle out of court. <laughs> oh my god. 
amazing, amazing stuff. I would definitely, I mean, we got to get Pornhub and all the big companies behind this. There should be a bidding war for this type of content. Oh, I know, man. I mean, no one is going to make funnier pornos than me. And um, I'm uh, disabled, so it's a uh, win-win-win for everyone. Absolutely. Win-win-win-win-win, for sure. So what's been happening this week with the quarantine? Anything exciting going on? Yeah, I'm going to be on America's Got Talent. <laughs> You're going to make Tony spit up the table wine. What? <laughs> Jeremiah, what did you say? How? I said I, you're going to make Tony spit up the the table wine. Oh, that's one of the hit I table wine. I wish I had some wine. Yeah, I applied online. The world already loves me, so America should be easy. And I have a person on the inside. I just have to cut on my butt-fucking butt jokes. I have to cut all my butt-fucking jokes out. But then I'll be good. That's true. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta kill yeah. your babies. You know what I mean? You gotta lose those butt-fucking jokes that everyone loves. Yeah. Hey, can I make a plea to the audience? Absolutely. Hold on, wait a second. What happened? <laughs> oh, your your cord fell out of your mic. You got to get your cord. You, something something's wrong with your uh, connection. Hello. Oh, we got you. We got you. We got you. We can hear you now. Really? Yep. All right. All right, so, um, um, how much time do I have left, Tony? Uh, you well, know, whatever, whatever probably you only a oh, few weeks, six months. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's it, Red Band. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make a plea to the audience. Go ahead. In 1998, I graduated valedictorian from Central Wyoming College in Riverton, Wyoming, on the Wind River Indian Reservation. The reservation, the movie Wind River, was set on anyway. I deserve to be 2020 Central Wyoming College. Alumni of the <laughs> I absolutely agree. If there's any way for us to contact Central Wyoming College, uh, it, 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 Riverton, it, Wyoming. In Riverton, I was valedictorian in 1998. Yep, and now you've gone on to become a comedic lord of not only the world, but soon you will take over the United States of America when you win America's Got Talent. Uh, yeah. And let's face it, if they allowed butt-fucking jokes, they, they, would, they would have no choice. It wouldn't even be a competition. But since you have to cut those... Oh, yeah. Um, I still think you're going to win, minus the butt-fucking jokes. But I agree. I think the listeners of the show should contact you know we tried this before with the one uh, wheelchair company but they don't respond to people they have a very uh that one wheelchair that you wanted they made a lot of noise and they contacted that wheelchair company but uh, they don't uh, they don't have an active social media and they they don't they simply don't do negotiations they're like apple they just simply don't give discounts they don't do deals but i think that if enough people make some noise central wyoming college in riverton wyoming I think we can get you alumni of the year. Would you go back there to accept that award? Yeah, there's a, a luncheon. <laughs> a luncheon? Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Heck yeah, Red Band wants everyone to vote for him. For it too. <laughs> hey, real quick. I sold my bike chain for $800. Wow. To a 
Jimmy Make you shout out to you, Jimmy. Make you, I appreciate it. And I want to say bye from my nurse slash girlfriend. Let's do it, honey. Hey, look at that! Wow. Oh wow! Silent guitar is the sound. <laughs> is the sound out again? Point the mic. Oh. Point the mic towards the. Oh. Oh. He's just moaning. <laughs> there you go, Red Band. That's another. That's another. Try. Can you hear us? No. Yeah. Now we can hear no. you. Yeah. Now we can hear you. I go, baby, play, play, play your heart out, play your heart out, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it for me, y'all. Hell yeah. The great Michael Lair. We love you. Great stuff, Michael Lair, everybody. Fucking awesome. We love you, Michael. MichaelLairComedy.com. We love him. Michael Lair is the best. And uh, to close us out here tonight, we're going to have one more set from a stranger. Let's get right into it. This is the Manolo, everyone. Here's the little music and the Manolo. Here's the Manolo. Hey, everybody. It's Manolo. i actually stuck in Tijuana right now. Can't go back over to the States because apparently everything shut down. Man, and I remember when I was a kid how I used to take it for granted whenever my dad wanted us to go over to the States. I used to hate it. He would force me and my sister to go and I used to cry and throw a fit, but he wouldn't care. He would just yell at us and tell us to keep on swimming. Um, yeah, and I remember my grandma used to scream out loud that she wished that we would drown. Man, can you imagine that? Me and my sister, we were just babies getting baptized in church. Her <laughs> woman, that granny. She's dead now. Um, I actually got kicked out of a funeral. Uh, funny story. I don't know if it was because I was wearing a baseball cap and a Kobe Bryant jersey and church and a gold chain. I mean, they did tell us to dress all black. <laughs> don't get blacker than that. Thank you very much. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Manolo. The Manolo, you've been on the show before, right? Uh, yeah, third time. Yeah. Third time, that's right. Two in Los Angeles at the Comedy Store. Yes, sir. My goodness, you're at the nicest uh, place in all of Tijuana right now, huh? <laughs> I'm in my house right now. Your house, that, your house. That's where you live? Yeah. In Tijuana? Lucky. Well, no, no. I live in San Diego, but this I, uh, house I have in TJ. Oh, wow. You own it? Yeah, yeah. How do you own a house in TJ? Because you can own four houses for the price of one in the U.S. How much does that cost, a house like that? Let's put it this way. A $500,000 house in the, in the States costs around 130 down here. Wow. Oh my God! And the prostitutes yeah. are so, so cheap. So a bug. And all you have to yeah, worry so about is being murdered by that, the cartels. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's the only catch. You ever have any trouble down there with the gangs and the crime? Uh, well, when I was younger, but no yeah. more, you know. Not anymore. Look yeah, at that place. Younger, yeah, they, 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 like only in the in the ghettos, it's really hard. They got shootouts every night and. But, but like in the, what would you call them? Yeah, the, the, the ghettos, right? Right. Yeah, that's what we call them. Um, how do you have so much money that you have a house in San Diego and Tijuana? I don't have much money. It's, uh, well, th this house actually, uh, my, my dad left it to me when he died, and I remodeled it. Oh, awesome. And in the States, I, I rent. Awesome. Awesome. Fuck yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I love that you added a laugh track to your yeah. set to let us know when the laughter sh could have been. 
Yeah, I didn't know it was funny, and then I heard the laughs. So right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, you actually got us, got those, us to laugh with those the laughs. Those laughs were uh, from George Lopez's okay. first special, actually. Is that true? I don't know. I just his jokes were. Ooh. Oh, everybody's entertained by that. Uh, you have any special uh, Mexican contraptions in your house? Do you have like a wine cellar or a, or a pinata room or anything mm. like that? <laughs> Just since this uh, sex oh, toy night. What? Oh my goodness! You actually is now. Do you use that as a penis pump, or do you like to get like mice out of your ass? The what? It actually works as a as a as a pussy pumper as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a gun silencer. Oh, dude. Heck yeah! Uh, <laughs> it's a gun silencer. My goodness! Why do you have that out in your living room like that? <laughs> well, he's on his laptop in the living room. <laughs> Cause I've been doing this uh, C3 do three challenge, you know, like the C10 do 10 challenge. Oh, that's oh. right. You're the cam guy. Yeah. So I've been doing the C3 do three. You, I love you, it. You see three of these? Uh huh. What are they? C3 of these? It's a napkin, and and you do and C3 do three. Wait, what? You know. Three. Explain the rules. They, they, we're a little confused. They're, yeah. There's sperm in, in them. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. So you see three. Yeah. So you see three. And you do three. And you and you can nominate people. Like, I can nominate Joe Berg or Red Band. And what would they have to do? I can do? nominate. Well, do three. Three masturbations and three papers. Three masturbations? Why do you have a Hitachi? What is that? He has a Hitachi. Why do you have a you, Hitachi? Yeah. For his big pussy. Oh my, oh my god. So I, I, I nominate jet ski. C3, do three. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't talk to her like I'm that. I need something much bigger than that. Hold on. Everybody, everybody slow down. Slow down here. We got to take it one step at a time. That's uh, we're, we're overloaded with information right now. What do you do with those contraptions that you just held up? <laughs> well, if I, like on um, the Shatterbeat, remember the Shatterbeat thing? Yeah. So if I have guests, if I get, if I got guests. Ah. Uh, hmm. Oh, I thought that was uh, Steve Harvey's microphone from uh, <laughs> Family Feud. <laughs> yeah. The Family Feud. And how about the? Why was the purple dildo attached to a rod? I'm I'm a little confused at that contraption. Let's see that one more time. It's a vibrator as well. Oh it my God. And a hair oh, <laughs> I didn't know they oh had goodness. those attachments. Jesus, look at that thing. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like Qbert. Oh my god, that is incredible. <laughs> Don't look at it in the eyes. That is like uh Damn, dude. That is Do you, can you give haircuts of the thing as well? <laughs> After seeing that, I'm with Trump, dude. <laughs> Wow, so uh, when you said that you when you do this this cam stuff, I had no idea you lived in Tijuana. So you'd probably get some some girls to come over pretty easily, some cheap girls. Yes, sir. How much does it cost yes, to sir. get a girl from Tijuana over? Uh, the the stimulus is going a long way right here, a long way. But I live in San Diego. But uh, but yeah, so you can get a girl here for sixty bucks. Hot wow. girl too. Mexican chicks. Wow. Mexican chicks. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Can you get a Mexican hook? Can you get a Mex? Are you gonna be in TJ next week? Uh, if you want me to, sure. Do you want me to bring one over? Yeah, I want to talk to a Mexican hooker. Let's uh, right. Do me a favor. Here's what I want. Here's a. Here's what I want done. Okay, I want you to write her a set. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be funny at all. And I want you to have her come over. Oh my God. Throw her a little bit of cash or whatever. And uh, or yeah. however you want to do it, whatever you got to do to get her there, and then uh, have yeah. her read the set for sixty seconds. She can do it. We had a five-year-old on earlier do a few jokes. <laughs> it's gonna be a five-year-old too. <laughs> no, not make sure the she's only not thing, the only... it's joking, Yeah, go no. ahead. Tell us what the only th catch is, other than the only catch is <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be one fifty if she speaks if she's bilingual. You know, most of them really? are gonna be. Solo hablo español. Of course, nobody speaks. It's fine. Uh, it's your money. Lot. Go ahead. That's fine. One fifty. You're paying for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, 
I mean, it, it, if you can so afford it, then have it be bilingual. But at the same time, I feel like a Mexican hooker speaking Spanish doing jokes. I feel like the jokes and language doesn't even matter. Yeah, we could just have Joel translate it. Yeah, yeah. Joel can translate yeah. it afterwards, and uh, we'll figure it out. So the thought of having my ancestors are rolling in their grave right now. But honestly, they're ma- they, you know I support sex workers. No, right. no nudity, but if she could just be sitting on the Hitachi while it's on. At the same time. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll, we'll do it like that. This is great. Now we have something to look forward to next week. Our first ever Mexican hooker on Kill Tony. She might not even be speaking English, but it gives us all something fun to look forward yeah. to. What do you think about this, Hal? You're a Christian. Tell us what you think about a Mexican hooker performing on the show that you're on. Uh, I think that uh, death threat times call for death threat <laughs> yes. measures, and we need to bring joy to people in different ways, so I'm all for it. Oh, now we're having fun. All right, yeah. cool. Now we're having fun. At the expense you, of my people. You know what? All right. Yeah. The Manolo, anything else crazy we should know about or talk about before we go? Like yesterday. Oh, two, two things. I, I just want I ju- I to say a crazy story that happened to me yesterday. Okay. I have a... And, and I also I made a drawing of you guys, a uh, uh, police sketch. Like oh, you made a oh, drawing. Yeah. Last we week, love we love drawings of us. Go ahead. But I want to tell you this crazy story that happened to me yesterday. Yeah, go ahead. So so I have a hot ass milf uh, neighbor, right? Uh huh. Uh, next door, and and yesterday out of the, out of the blue she knocked on my door, right? She just came here with her with her um, uh, face mask on and, and her nairo, right? Looking yep. all hot milf, and she and she and she just told me that. Uh, that, that she she started confessing to me that she had hasn't had sex all quarantine right all quarantine she didn't have sex and that she wanted me to help her out with that that she was horny as fuck and she wanted me to help her out with that right so you wow. know your boy right you know your boy right you know I had to go all night and babysit her kids for her to go with another guy right and then you drew us hey yeah <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't got the <laughs> I don't have hey. the laugh track. <laughs> 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 I love that. Um, okay, let's see this drawing of us that you did. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh that's great. Wow, that is, Wait, what the fuck? That's actually awesome. <laughs> Wait a second. Yo, I look like when you crack a fucking bird egg open and it's got like a half-formed fetus. Yeah, let's zoom in on that, Joel. <laughs> he looks like an egghead. Oh, I mean, that's pretty legit, though. Oh the dick is God. about... This is two weeks in a row of us getting... Joel drawings. That's a dildo. That's not your dick, by the way. I mean, it might as well be. It's clearly well, it on a waistband. <laughs> no, it's dripping. Yeah. There's a little. Brian said he's got him back into potatoes lately. So that looks like the mask from the Goosebumps episode. <laughs> Again, another lumpy head for Joel. Yeah, what Jimenez. the fuck? What is that? Everybody keeps giving. <laughs> Zoom it. into this. Zoom into my fucking head. No, there, I see it now. Look at that. <laughs> I don't have a lump. I got yeah. one lump. Okay, I got one. <laughs> Yeah, Weird. Uh, right no, that looks like I got hit with a uh, cast iron skillet or something. That looks like the uh, that looks like the diagram of the current COVID situation. Uh, they're flattening the curve there at the top. He's got the mole there too. Let's yeah. see, let's see the that other That is ones. good. I think that's interesting. I do have that mold there. That's weird that two artists two weeks in a row have... Let's it's see so Tony. It's true. That's a great <laughs> that, that's Tony. spot on. By the way, really? Tony, your mom texted me. She said, just play the drums, bitch. That is true. Hey, I pulled Manolo's name out. David Lucas is the bucket. That's wow. an incredible oh. David Lucas. Yeah, I mean, pretty accurate me, too. Yeah, Red Band. Yeah, what? Chicano <laughs> Cholo Red Band. What? That's Red Band. That's what Red Band looks like. Yeah. Constantly hiding what he actually looks like looks behind like a bunch secret. of apparel. Is it tranny tube. What does it say? Chatterbait, search history, uh, how to make money j- by just clicking buttons. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I mean, there's Jeremiah spot on. Look at that. Whoa. Heck yeah, that's the classic it Jeremiah looks, drawing. Wow, that's, that's, that's good. Good. We got man. jet ski up above there with the vroom vroom, right? Oh. You got a tram set. Better, Better box. box. Better hey. box. Hey. Wow. Scroll up. Let's see Jesse Johnson. Wow, Spot you, on. you are great. You, it almost looks like a Mad Magazine style. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Look at Chroma there too. That, that's what oh, that, that looks better than amazing. Chroma does in real life. <laughs> R.I.P. Chroma Chris. <laughs> Wait, is there a William? Is there a William? Did I miss a William? Is there anyone else? you guys. What's in my fuck? Oh, the bleach is in my That's right incredible. Now. Great drawing. Amazing. No. Amazing and art, man. Butt, he's, he, he's got the drumstick up his butt, Joburg. Oh. oh, okay. And how much did you have to pay a prostitute oh. to paint this for you? Is that... Very accurate. Yes, oh, a skateboard. I like that. 
We love it. Thank rat, you, Manolo. Rat, That's the Manolo, on. everybody. Thank you so much, dude. We'll see you next week. You're going to be on. You have a guaranteed spot with a Mexican hooker. The Manolo Music on Instagram and YouTube. The M-A-N-O-L-O -O Music, all one word. Uh, Ryan J. And uh, before we... Okay, guys, thank you. Before we check in with uh, Ryan J. Ebelt, we have what appears to be... Another piece of art that was sent in. <gasps> Shockingly, uh, it. Oh my God. <laughs> <Here's> wow. <laughs> no, you no, you that can't leave. Good. No, stay here. You look cool. That's what you look like, Joel. Yeah, you look, look like you, that. You got the eyes of that blind guy. You, you don't even have the lumpy head on this one. Look at that. He look. <laughs> he he looks like he looks like one of those human body exhibits. What the fuck? <laughs> At least you have an Adam's apple. Like Alex Gray. You look like a basketball yeah. player. Dude, That's you're you're a human cool. body exhibit. That it's is all good. spot on, Joel. That's beautiful. What a great. Can we? Would you like to perhaps hang that up over your bed? Yeah, sure. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> we should get that blown up. Get a big print of that. There's I no look like I have what Michael Lehrer has. <laughs> oh come on. Oh. It doesn't change the way you look. Michael Lehrer's a good looking yeah, guy. He's, there's <laughs> no lump this? on okay. your head. There's no lump on your head on this one at least. Yeah, look at the top of the That's head. That's true. Who did this? I like that my head is smooth at least. Yeah. That is an incredible I'm sorry, Michael. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Yeah, that I don't know why rude. you would do that. Because I was offended. I was hurt. I didn't know what to do. Oh I my mean, God. I, I, the the head isn't quite as lumpy as your head, but the eyes are spot on. I know. Uh, how the far they are so away It's weird that now the whole room is having fun. Weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> now that I'm not, Although, everyone else is. It's incredible. His mouth looks so chill like a Dia, Dia de los Muertes doll. <laughs> and let's zoom in one last time on his Why chest. Why the EMTs not saving this guy, first of all? He's... Can we zoom in on his chest real quick and see the burns from the uh, serious accident? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who the fuck did this? Joel's classic. That is from uh, Batman Xenomorph on social there's, media. There's a black oh, really? going to bring up a real we photo another, of me? We have another drawing. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah. We have another drawing that was sent in of Joel here. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, everyone's having a good time. I told you for the... <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's check in with Ryan J.E. Belt. Uh, <laughs> we find out that is Ryan J. <laughs> yeah, that's just tonight's drawing. Ryan, if you oh. did that, no. oh, that marker. Or Hi, Ryan J. How's it going, my man? Oh my God, did that drawing of Joelberg come alive? <laughs> Ryan J., can you hear us? Okay. What? Guys. What? what? Oh, it's the delay. Hold on, I just want to hear this thing out because it is mind boggling. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Dude, it's, Jeremiah's legitimately scared right now. This this so it's so cool that Zordon from the Power Rangers is calling into the show. It is one of the most incredible audible anomalies in the history of the show. And that's definitely not Ryan J. Ebo. David art. Lucas's daughter drew this. Ryan J., can you hear us? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you using some type of voice changer? Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that was that you? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Jesus. There's something going on with the sound, Ryan J. But that drawing is fucking cool as hell. I love the uh, I love the youthful style of this one. It's definitely a change of pace. I love it. That is so cool. Did you use crayons on that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, if somehow we could figure out to mimic this sound all the time. If Ryan J always sounded like a uh, like a super goblin, I, I am think I'm so confused. That is incredible. Whoa! Look at that. That is incredible. <laughs> so Joel will feel that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the chest. <laughs> Look oh, at I that. love that. That's that like, is cool. so fucking cool. That's wow. like the uh, old uh, drive-in movie theaters uh, uh, animation. Yeah. Well, I talked to Ryan today, and he asked me if 
I said I looked like a thumb, and then I think he just ran with oh, that's it. That's hilarious. Heck yeah. That's great, Ryan. Absolutely. Another amazing. This is one I actually, this, I can say with no ego, this is one of my favorite drawings of all time on this show. Uh, incredible work. Thematically beautiful. Like Red Band said, almost a throwback to those old school movie trailer previews. Yeah. Uh, telling you to get your candy and it's your popcorn the from the lobby. studio or from the lobby. Um, Ryan J's artwork draws every single episode. Icon of the show. RyanJEbelt.com for every single print that's ever been made, every poster that's ever been made, including the brand new Kill Tony t-shirt, which features a poster on a t-shirt. So you can kill two birds with one stone, get a poster and a t-shirt at the same time. Why not? Ryan J, we love you. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to say before uh, we let you go? May the fourth be with you. Uh, I look like the Cleveland Indians logo. What is happening? You do. Like Chief Wazoo's tacos. That's it. That's the drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt, and that's tonight's episode. We did it again. We're going to be on the road, supposedly, at the end of this year. Salt Lake City, Miami, Austin, San Fran, Bakersfield, Tacoma, D.C., Salt Lake City. Bunch of stuff coming up. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Uh, we have uh, uh, Gage. Um, we have... Uh, look at that. Double drawings tonight from Ryan J. E. Belt. Incredible Second, yes. stuff. Uh, so that's exciting. We'll be back next week with a um, with another episode. Don't forget to resubmit your submissions to killtonyquarantine at gmail.com. And, and film it sideways. Don't do the up and down with your phone. Just turn yeah, your phone sideways. to the side. Easy. What is it? Absolutely. 2020, guys. Here we go. Here's one of the sadder parts of the show where I throw it over to Jeremiah Watkins, everyone. Jeremiah was the band leader tonight. He has his own show called Jeremiah Wonders. Uh, go ahead, Jeremiah. Anything? Yeah. Anything, jo anything? Josh Potter with my guest this week on Jeremiah Wonders. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Venmo is uh, at Jeremiah-Watkins. And I uh, got some great merch at JeremiahWatkins.com. Some Feminist Stacy shirts, Darwin shirts, uh, Bison shirts. Uh, oh, the Bison All that good shirt. stuff. Very good. And, uh, yeah, got some exciting uh, got a, got a exciting uh, project uh, coming up uh, maybe with Tony or something down the line. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We have a lot of stuff that uh, that's coming out. Exciting stuff that uh, is all happening. Yeah. Jeremiah, stand up on social media. Love you guys. For sure. There he is. Jeremiah Watkins, everyone. Uh, how about a big hand for uh, Jesse Johnson, everybody? Did it again. The Jet Ski. She's on social media at Jet Ski Johnson. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Anything else we should know about Jesse? Shout out to my mom and all the moms. Next time we'll be back, we'll be after Mother's Day. My mom watches every episode. And oh, I love that. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Jetski, for making <laughs> such an incredible daughter. I broomed right out of that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Heck yeah. She lives in a three-bedroom house in Arizona. No. Oh. Why would you guess that? Maybe saying, Tristan? Yeah. Uh, Ludwig's very own Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez was here tonight. He's at Mostly Sorry on social media and for his performance on tonight's episode. He's Mostly Sorry for that as well. And I'm not. I'm not. I brought the fun. Um, big announcement. Oh. I'm starting my own podcast, guys. Uh, picked up the equipment today. Oh, there we go. Oh, guys, really? Now music? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, I got the fucking the email mostly sorry pod at gmail.com. Send me your questions, your segment ideas. Go ahead and email those out. I'd love to hear from you. Me and uh, my co host David Deary are doing this. So, uh, yeah. See you guys soon, you fucking did you idiots. Get, hold on a second. Did you get David Deary to leave his apartment to help you with this? No, but I did. He did. I, he did. I did drive by and pick up equipment today. He gave me the microphone, a camera. We're going to be doing it. Uh, did he stand near you during any of this? It was pretty far, but it did get tested <laughs> two days ago. He got tested. Yeah. And it came up nothing. Haven't gotten the results back yet. Well, he can't. There's no way he can have it. I this drove by his so house. Afraid. He threw the camera out the window, and I grabbed it He's going so 60. Afraid. He's so scared to death right now. He loves you guys, though. He says hello. Hey, we love David Deary, too. We wish he was here. Shout out to the people that do make it here. Charlie from Vito's Pizza. Yeah. Allegedly. Gino Woo! 
from Speedweed, BetterBox, and DamnGoodCo.com to get an awesome candle. And we also had another special guest here tonight, paid regular from the Comedy Store. You know him from his amazing Yelp reviews. It's oh, Lucas Hurl, yeah, everyone. L-U-C-A-S-H-I-R-L uh, on all social media platforms, correct? How can they find your Yelp review videos? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube. What on YouTube? Lucas Hurl. Lucas H I R L. He's a paid regular at the Comedy Store. He's another one of the top young rising comedians in the world from the great state of Iowa. He's a real Hawkeye. I once took him to open for me at a show at Iowa University. And uh, anyway, fun he's helped, stuff. He's helped us make a lot of great videos yes. and sketches over the years Without that we've both been in. Lucas is one of the backbones of the Comedy Store. Uh, there all the time. A fun friend, a great comedian, and a great drinking buddy. Also a great person to do mushrooms with. <laughs> Total uh, drug addict. Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot Drew, of fun has been had. I've Drew gone, his comedy accolades. He's I've, great at drinking. <laughs> I've gone to the circus before with Lucas Hurl. That's how much fun Lucas is. I and, went to a circus in Los Angeles with yeah, Lucas. That was at the family reunion in Iowa. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I do this new uh, podcast called... Or, YouTube show called Virtual Red Band, where I go on virtual reality. Check that out. We've got up to 35 episodes. Also, tomorrow, Dead Air, Brian Holtzman. We got Earl Skakel as a guest. Oh, and Brothers yeah. in Curse of oh. William Montgomery and David Lucas's podcast. We do this Wednesday or Thursday, so check out DeskWad.tv. Thanks, guys. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week with a Mexican hooker and a whole new slew of people. Kill Tony Quarantine at gmail.com for your submission. There you go. Good night, everyone. Bring in the fun.